your childhood like? I grew up in what was called Bloomdale, which was Wood County, Ohio, northern Ohio, and was raised on a farm with lots of farm kids around me. We played uh, a lot of outdoor games like kickball and uh, Andy I over. For a long time, asked my parents for a parakeet one Christmas. I got the parakeet. I remember getting my first bicycle and I thought that gave me freedom <laughs> to, to ride anywhere I wanted to ride and I didn't have to ask anybody to take me. I could go visit friends and relatives and uh, so I rode my bicycle a lot. That was, that was lots of fun. How do you have fun? Actually, now that I'm finally retired, I, I have a lot of fun writing. I love to write. I write lots of different things, essays and creative stories, and I write uh, poems, poems for children. Here's one I'm going to read to you. Everyone knew that Myron Mears never washed behind his ears. Strange little bugs gathered there. They even crawled into his hair. The other children couldn't help but stare. But Myron simply said he didn't care because he liked the bugs in his ears and hair. <laughs> and I paint. I have lots of fun painting. And uh, if I had to pick one right now is a mountain landscape that shows a little cabin back in the mountain and it makes me feel like it's a retreat and you can go there in your mind and imagine anything you want to and that's what I tried to capture. I'm not sure I did. If you could be a kid again, would you? I don't think I would want to go back but one thing I would like to do is keep the child that's inside of me alive. I believe there's a, I believe there's a kid in me and I want to definitely keep that kid alive and let it uh, discover and explore and have fun just like a, a kid always does. So that's the way I'd like to be a kid. How do you want to be remembered? I would like to be remembered as a person who uh, basically accepted everyone for who they were and uh, loved them unconditionally and didn't put on a lot of conditions and standards on their being. So uh, someone who cared for others and uh, loved them where they were. So uh, how do you feel about being a Silver Star? I feel very honored to be a part of a program that acknowledges seniors and uh, Acknowledge the fact that they have a lot to offer, that their lives are ongoing, and they, they just do a lot of lifelong learning, and it's just great to be a part of that.